What is the PROS Adult Home Outreach Project? The New York State Office of Mental Health has made funds available through NIAPRS for PROS staff to engage residents of adult homes and state psychiatric centers about the benefits of enrolling in PROS programs. Another aspect of this project is that curricula on independent living skills specific to the needs of this population will also be available for PROS providers. The deadline for this project has been extended. Funds will now be available through June 30th, 2019. You may be wondering what kind of curricula is already available and how do you access it? There are already curricula on the topics of goal setting, living, including how to work modern technology, how to adapt to supported housing, conflict resolution, home management, thoughts about moving, employment, making and keeping friends, community inclusion, and managing symptoms and medication. How do you access the curricula? Log on to the Niapers Clearinghouse at pros.niapers.org. Here's what the web page looks like. What is the outreach and who is eligible? One of the goals of the project is to engage individuals who reside in adult homes or psychiatric centers to explore their interest in pursuing a life role goal with the help and the support of a PROS. PROS programs that conduct outreach activities are eligible to receive payment for those encounters. Individuals who reside in state psychiatric centers, including SOCRs and TLRs, individuals residing in adult homes, and class members who have moved out of adult homes and into supported housing through the Adult Home Initiative are eligible to participate in this project. A little more on outreach. PROS programs can conduct outreach on an individual or group basis. Individual encounters must take place for at least 15 continuous minutes and group encounters must take place for at least 30 continuous minutes. Groups can have a maximum of eight people. Reimbursement is made on a per person basis at a rate of $50 per visit. The maximum reimbursement amount is $250 per individual per month. How do you get reimbursed for outreach? You'll need two types of supporting documentation, individual contact notes and program-wide semi-annual reports. The Niapris Clearinghouse provides you with a list of sample documents that you can reference. Here's what to include in a contact note. These notes should be written for each visit with an individual. It should include the individual's name, the date of service, the location, the modality and duration, a brief description of the encounter activity, and the name, title, signature, and credential of the PROS staff delivering the service. You can see examples on the Niapris Clearinghouse as a reference. So what should be included in the semi-annual report? The report should be completed by any program that received payment for outreach during the covered period. It must include the total number of individuals served in encounter activities, the total number of encounters completed, the disposition of each individual served at the end of the time period, and if applicable, the reason for non-admission to PROS. Here is an example of the semi-annual report. How to submit an invoice. Submit all invoices securely to ISMET alum, CFO, and include the following information. The agency and program name. The month and year. The name of each individual receiving and counter activities. The total number of visits during the calendar month. The total number of claims per person and the name and signature of the PRO staff completing the invoice. Here you can see a sample invoice, and this sample can be found on the Niapris Clearinghouse. 
Do you have any questions about the PROS Adult Home Outreach Project? Feel free to contact NIAPRA staff if you have any questions. You can also reference the NIAPRA's website at pros.niapras.org. And be on the lookout for new curricula as it becomes available.